Okay, aloha. We are here at uh, getting my other camera out. Corner of Ward and Baratania, deoccupy Honolulu. I'm gonna get my other uh, camera out here. Okay, where there is a companion raid to yesterday's. Uh, there's Wesley Chun getting out of his car, and uh, Trish Morikawa. There was a tagging raid yesterday, and there is now a seizure raid. I really want to get this uh, going happening. I'm gonna, I want to get on this side. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be outside to... I want to get this. This is uh, Carlisle. It says, get a job, ex-mayor. Peter Carlyle was uh, is the incumbent mayor. He lost the primary elections. Came in last at 25 percent. Um, partly because of the raids like this, you can see uh, kind of light equipment today. Not much to, to seize because the tents were replaced. I actually brought two brand new tents. Carla, this is about the 35th raid. There is a Stanigawa there, center screen. It does have writing on it. I'm going to get a zoom in with my... Uh, now that red sign says a risk, a rest Trish and Wes. Trish being Trish Morikawa, uh, Department of Dehousing. Office of Dehousing. Actually, Office of Housing, I call it the Office of Dehousing because they've confiscated more housing um, than, than they have. That Stanigawa better not be taken. There's high commodity value for the Stanigawa. It's actually a creation of uh, hashtag Stanigawa um, of the Stanigawa Industrial Complex. It's an organization uh, devoted to, among other things, maintaining an increasing commodity value of uh, the Stanigawa works of art. Um, I myself am a collector. One of the early collectors of uh, Stanigawa. I should back up here. I'm, I'm so intent on getting them destroying the sign. That would be so much fun. I want to show you Lucas here with the anti-GMO sign. What's for dinner tonight? You can see. Now, GMOs and anti-GMO and um, The whole GMO industry in the Occupy Honolulu actually. Here we go. This is great. I want to see this. They're they're trashing the Carlisle sign. That is. The pet of freedom has begun. Now, I'm wondering. They they usually destroy stuff. I think. I think they're taking it. They're treating it as a. Uh, yeah, she, she, Chris, Object. Chris gave him orders not to uh, take it apart. Their first um, thing was to rip it apart. Yeah, oh, maybe we can petition for its return. Sure. Yeah. I mean, political signs are all over this town. Everyone's yards and stuff. Yeah. Why can't we have them in the park? Why can't we have them in the park? Looking for a new job, well. Wes is uh, Wesley Chun, a PhD in civil engineering. Director of the Department of Facilities Maintenance. Um, all around scumbag. All around scumbag has led the raids here. Why is that cabinet level position uh, 
in uh, engineering. Uh, he's right. actually Honolulu's chief engineer. Why do they stoop to doing this sort of thing, raiding the homeless and protesting? It takes an engineer to do that. Yeah. Huh? You know, it's a... Get some engineering in there, Wes! It's a political appointment. That's what they got to do. You got to stoop to be a political appointee. Somebody's got to do it. We've got one, two, three, four police in Take the area, inside the, the uh, crime zone. We made it for it. This, uh, on the left here is, uh, for Sergeant Santos. So well, He's yeah. actually a police officer. They use police officers in Aloha shirts. Oh. Now you can see that none of the uh, tents are being seized. The reason for that is they were replaced last night after the other ones were tagged, taken off property, and replaced. I brought, I myself brought two brand new tents from out of my trunk. Come on, engineer that thing, West! Engineer it! That's this is what engineering is for. Now I, I also agree to you, Wesley. I have footage of you and seven other city guys stealing. Oh, 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 oh it's breaking. Peter's not going to be happy. Peter would be Peter Carlisle. Chris, you and I need to go to court, honey. Is that going to be fun? That is uh, Trish Morikawa. I will pry. She's also an appointment by uh, Peter Carla. Last time I caught her stealing Billy's tent. Yeah, you will. Get that smile off your face. Now, I'm taking still pictures with uh, my other camera, which is, might explain some of my camera angles here. So this itself is the uh, corner of uh, Baratanian Ward. This is raid number, hey, we're in the mid-30s, I haven't updated my spreadsheet. Um, as you can see, they're not seizing the blue tents. Those are not subject to seizure. Of course, they have in the past <laughs> taken uh, don't, don't property. Don't go home Carlisle wants it. He wants it in his office. Well, his office might be this corner soon. That's just going away, President. Don't mess it up. So we have the director of uh, the Department of Facilities and Maintenance. We also have a deputy director here, uh, Kenneth uh, Shimizu. So we have three uh, mayoral cabinet appointees here uh, stealing this. I think you got to bust it up. I think you got to break it. You know that's First Amendment material. You know it's First Amendment material you are absconding with. You are an absconder, Chris. And I'm going to see you in court. Alert! We are no longer free and free to have an opinion. If we do not stand up now, we will never be allowed our opinion. Stand up! Fight back! Refuse and resist! So we have three cabinet position appointees hey, here. Guys, some overtime. We can have more by this weekend. Total of almost uh, $300,000 a year in salary. You make, you make a really good corrupt woman. 
not taking the tents because they're not being stored here. They're just put up. Corruption is the new black. That's good. Come That's on, good. Your boy, come on. Let me let me back up here so I can get this crew here. That's Lucas, the dancing tent, sometimes known as the dancing tent, dancing free speech tent, and here's a neat uh, sign that's twirling. Honey. Now there are no uh, he Thank you for the aloha, Chris. heavy equipment in the in the park today. They usually uh, bring part. Oh, I thought maybe we could get some oh. of my own Is there an interaction? I missed an interaction. What do you say? Oh, he just said, you know that the megaphone's not allowed in the park, right? Oh, uh, and this is not the, the park. As you can see, we're don't well get, outside the white dot there, yeah. fake redrawn <laughs> park boundaries. Yeah, there's a fake line that they made just to say that this is the park. <laughs> That's right. Because that was really the park. Yeah, yeah, I was here. We were here. That's why the park boundary sign is actually up on on that thing along the wall. Park boundary needs clear plaque and marker. Now, if you just joined us, we got um, the big. <laughs> Carlisle get a job sign uh, carefully going into the truck uh, instead of being trashed like most stuff. Um, okay, if you're calling me on the phone, that's probably a bad idea, but I have forwarded my phone calls to Google Voice that I'll get to later. You get an odd message. So. Okay, if you just join us, we're at the Occupy Honolulu Corner Ward in Baratania. We, you should be getting our new uh, high definition stream off my Verizon hotspot. Oh, right. I wish I wish there was more happening. What they are doing is they're taking a Mayor Carlisle get a job sign. Um, it's being engineered by the Honolulu's chief engineer, Wesley Chan, who makes $112,000 a year. It's a uh, political appointment, of course. Our freedom could be taken away. Just tying it down with the pocket. Don't worry, those up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, keep chopping. I commend your reuse of materials, guys. Yeah, no, that's yeah, useful stuff. But I don't think that plastic tape is rated to hold signs on top of trucks. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry. You should really figure something better out. That's a hell of an engineering job you got going there, Wes. That's why he's got a PhD. Hey, show us your tin ring there, Wes. The tin ring. He has a ring on his Show finger. us your tin ring, Wes. From the order of the engineer. Show us your ethics ring. Now, are they on the other side bugging the uh, homeless guys on the other side? Maybe you have not worry, huh? No, on what we call South Occupy, there's a non-politically affiliated uh, uh, group, and they actually suffer more greatly than we do. They're not uh, politically organized. They don't know the law. They don't feel empowered to speak out. I'm going to head over to the uh, south. Uh, okay, they're not going to take the tapes down. I'm going to run over to the uh, south-occupied side homeless uh, encampment.
No, usually they bring heavy equipment. They fill the park with dump trucks and stuff. I think they knew that there wasn't... Uh, and as you, as you can see, they tape off the whole area. They put themselves in, inside the uh, crime scene, <laughs> which is very fitting. And... Um, It's hard to get from one end to another. We have two live streamers at least. That's uh, Nova Smith up there. He can uh, live stream from, from this uh, area so that we can get as much uh, coverage as possible. I'm walking uh, by the wall at uh, Thomas Square. There's a plaque around this corner. This plaque uh, tells us what Thomas Square is about. And I can describe that later. I'm going to go over to the corner to see how the uh, everybody's faring over there. Here's, uh, we call her the coordinator of the D office, D housing office. This guy got a got a cart, so she's in calling the shots here. Hopefully, this will uh, require less engineering skill. Here is the we're at the uh, corner of uh, Bertania and Victoria Street, just half a block down. We call this South Occupy. It's a non-politically organized uh, homeless camp. People uh, might be at work or school. And you can see uh, some well organized uh, Some well organized uh, property. We're getting some here. And that's uh, Ken Shimizu, who's the deputy director of uh, facilities maintenance. So, this is the part that always gets me is the stealing uh, stuff from the poor. I'm going to get a good shot of uh, Ken Shimizu stealing uh, some well-organized uh, stuff there, you can see. You just joined us. We're at Thomas Square. You can see Thomas Square on that the sign there. Okay, this material is actually being, I think they will not seize it. They didn't bring enough, they didn't bring the heavy, heavy trucks. So they've tagged it. We'll, we'll get a look at what the uh, tag actually says here. And this is what we call a Bill 54 tag. It's a removal notice says, uh, it's against storage of property. Public uh, shall be impounded if not removed within 24 hours. That's by the Division of Road Maintenance and a phone number. And uh, where uh, the uh, impounded property will be stored. Now, they put it in these bins for storage, but you know what? A lot of times, as we've seen in other videos, they don't store um, the property. It goes directly into a garbage truck or a dump truck. And those that are stored, you know what you need to claim your stuff? Credit card receipts. Now, if you've seen uh, what kind of stuff goes into those carts, uh, you can imagine they don't. there's no credit card receipts for that stuff. So that's lost. So the homeless program, the Bill 54 um, 
helps uh, basically empowers the city to seize personal property of people that are poor or to harass protesters little bit uh, and as you can see these um, have been tagged too but these will not be here in 24 hours they will be replaced by new tents as you can see this is a brand new uh, tent these are available at Sears for $38 um, Northwest Territories if you're watching and you want to help support the cause. We have uh, blue tents and red tents so that they're easy to uh, visually determine that they're different tents. The blue tents are from Sears. They cost about $38. The red tents are from Target. They're uh, Embark tents and they're about $38. And that was a quick, quick raid. Uh, no heavy equipment in the park. Um, we have new high quality streaming so it's less uh, dramatic than it could be but you know that's that's better for us. The Occupy Honolulu very active in the battle against uh, GMOs in Hawaii and here's one of the signs that shows up at a lot of the rallies against a monoculture and GMOs, a monoculture industrial farming factory agriculture and GMOs just go hand in hand um, and that allows corporate control of food supply. That's Jake who's a amplified voice specialist at the park now. <laughs> My sidewalk is the only place I can express myself. I'm right. Here. So you've been threatened with arrest if you step over this into the mud and use the bullhorn, yes, is that correct? This is illegal as long as I'm doing this. If I step back, I can do this all I want. Now if I put this down and yell three times louder than this will ever make it, that's legal. Well, why are they calling that the park when the there's a wall there with the parks, blue park sign way over there? Because the city makes up stuff whenever they feel like it benefits them. They, you know, they didn't I, like our big massive fortress, so they had to figure out a way to take it down. So they made up a law, created new boundaries. They did. I was there. Things. December 29th, they moved the boundary to suit themselves. Yes, exactly. I saw them do that in Waikiki uh, during the APEC protest. Yeah. Same guy, in fact, Sergeant Santos. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Go figure, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. That's it for now. So the tags mean that they'll be back tomorrow, Friday. I'm still on. Anything you'd All like to I say, Billy? All I can say is they can kiss my Occupy whatever. <laughs> Occupy my whatever. <laughs> so we are here across the street is the former um, residence of uh, uh, Anna Rice Cook of Castle and Cook, who were one of the great land barons that profited so much off the uh, theft of Hawaiian lands. You're just on live stream. It just went on the internet. <laughs> but that shows people have clear access on this sidewalk. Um, and it's ironic. It's now called the uh, Honolulu uh, Museum of Art. Um, and that's a that's an interesting art installation in front of it. Little house-looking structures made of uh, twisted uh, branches. But this whole block, from that corner all the way over to the other corner was the private residence of Anna Rice Cook and right across the street houseless people we get solidarity and aloha from BI Big Island the island of uh, Hawaii Moku Okeawe I think huh? is that how they say it? thank you Carrie How's the picture over there? I, I switched to a better um, to a mobile hotspot in order to get uh, a better 
kind of view. We're coming up on 25 minutes here, very short raid, no uh, heavy trucks in the park today. Let me uh, walk by and show you the, the surviving signs. Uh, we're not really the rail sign people, but whatever, you know. Let me show you. Uh, I, I wish this were pulled back. We'll put this one back here, but this explained it. Not even one criminal charge or DOJ, Department of Justice, investigation against Predator Mafia Banks since the crash of 2008. The A for anarchy, which are actually very uh, strict uh, governance um, protocols, if you ask me. Uh, they did not take, as they had before, they usually would take all the signs. Now anything that has text on it uh, falls under First Amendment rights. So they do leave, including... Uh, the colorful Stanigawa in the back. They have taken before um, Stanigawa artworks that uh, continue to appreciate in commodity value as uh, this part of the uh, meta narrative uh, continues and develops. This sign says, Dear candidates, does my voice only count when I'm voting for you? There's a sign in back of there. It says, Arrest Trish and Wes, who are the people, the cabinet appointees that uh, lead the raid. Deoccupy Studio 54 is intense. This is a sign used uh, for um, the contingent that participated in the uh, Gay Pride March. And that was something. I was live streaming that and, and participating and... Uh, I think <laughs> we took it like one step beyond the usual political guys that have signs and say, hey, we support you guys. It was like, that was really cool. You know. Not too sure of that. Somebody tell me what that means. Here's some uh, picture of uh, the real Homeland Security. Fighting terrorism since uh, 1492. That's on the continent, of the North American continent. Uh, been homeland security here since 1778. Standing of Captain Cook. This sign, which we will actually restore a little bit is probably one of our longest lasting signs and much respect to uh, Jamie Baldwin which explains why we're here if bank regulations were enforced like park rules we wouldn't be in this mess and that's absolutely correct down the street a couple blocks from here is Central Pacific Bank that received 135 million dollars in TARP funds returned uh, like 65 uh, so the public taxpayers got hit with a 65 million dollar bill fairly small for the TARP kind of bailout fund but it is a Hawaii bank with uh, Senator Danny Noe on the board I so I wonder how that happened and that is our corner deoccupy in very historic uh, Thomas Square where sovereignty was returned uh, to the people of Hawaii on July 31st 1843 beautiful park it's a little uh, brown the sprinkler system does not work anymore because of the dozens of times heavy equipment was brought in here to um, steal stuff from the poor and from peaceful protesters and I have a lot of video and still documentation for that but while we're looking at this pretty scene I want to thank everyone for um, joining us and uh, stay tuned and uh, stay tuned to H. Doug on Twitter or um, at uh, Occupy Honolulu that's uh, Chris uh, Smith's uh, live stream announcement Twitter channel so 
on Ustream, it's this channel is Honolulu Doug, Nova's is The Pineapple Glitch, separated with hyphens, The Pineapple Glitch. Also check uh, iZombies on Ustream, uh, and there are a couple others, so we're well covered. Thanks for joining us from beautiful and historic Thomas Square, which is right inside of the, near the center of Honolulu, down the street from the state capitol and city hall, Honolulu Halle, and uh, we'll talk to you later, as you can see, after the police have come, after the police have gone, tents are still here. Nice blue ones, all uniform. <clears throat> I was going to say looking kind of military, but I won't. I was going to say looking kind of corporate, but I won't. I'll say looking very organized.